Okay, hi. So tell me, what happens in the morning? Like, what do you do to get ready typically before you leave for the mor for the morning? Well, that's pretty easy. I take a shower. Uh huh. Wash my hair. Uh huh. And I see you got a shaver in there, and I, I and you got a little mirror. I do. So do you kind of do your shaving out in the shower? I do. Harry basically is like a shower shaver. He uses shampoo um, as his shaving cream and his post shave and his pre shave and the totality of his skincare products is shampoo. He looks great but he could just use a little bit more of a, just like a little gentle nudge to do any grooming other than combing his hair. That's how you wear your hair every day? It is. Not mad at it, I actually think it's a very nice shape. If you do detail it with a little bit of pomade, especially for say a date night, it can give you like a little bit of a slightly like edgier, like I'm kind of like, remember like in high school and he just like bust you out of your parents' house, you know, without permission or whatever. So it can be a little bit more like bad boyish or just a little bit more polished or really just different. So these are two different ones that you can try from. This one's gonna be more matte. This clay has a little bit of shine. So I think it'd be fun if we did a little bit of the matte one. So that's about how much I'm using. And I'm gonna rub it up in my hands. And a lot of times when people go to put on product, the tendency is that they come right here, like right on the front. Yep. Incorrect. So I always recommend starting in back and kind of working it in on the nape of your neck. And then from getting it in the back, I start to work my way forward. The point is to not like plaster the hair down. Right. Then once you get into this hair, kind of get all up in there and get the product underneath the hair. And don't worry, it's gonna look crazy for a second. Then I come back in and you start to use your fingers to kind of finger comb. And see how it just gives you like a little bit of a little texture on your hair. It's like not so clean and brand new. You know, and also you have really attractive eyes. It was the first thing that I noticed about you. So I think anything to kind of like polish you from the neck up, like you don't have to do a lot. Like you're already very handsome. So even just like the small act of putting on a little bit of pomade, like that just kind of says like, hey, I know what I'm working with. Like look at this full head of hair on my salt. You know what I'm saying? So really that's my truth. And really I think that the takeaway, oh my God. Your lips are dry. Here, I'm gonna put this on your index finger. This is more like a concentrated lip balm. So it's gonna be more of a moisture treatment that you could put on at nighttime, which I love. So that's good. Sometimes chapsticks can like get us in a vicious cycle of perpetuating lip dryness and get, get really smear that guy on there. Just get it, just really just moisturize them. That seems like a lot. Well, you know, <laughs> you can't trust what seems sometimes. You just gotta trust what the gays tell you to do. <laughs>